As we come on the air right now, we are getting the first images of President Trump in Paris. There he is coming off Air Force One with the First Lady. Yeah, Melania visiting a children's hospital just a few hours ago when the president set to meet with French President Emmanuel Macron on his third international trip. Yeah, and this is going to be a tricky one. The president is not popular uh, in France. And remember that first handshake he had with the French president. They didn't <laughs> see it right there. Who could forget it? Who could forget it? They held on. In Thank fact, the French president said this was a moment of truth. He wanted to show he couldn't be bullied by President Trump, but he did invite him to Paris. And of course, the president trying to escape this controversy at home, but he will be taking questions at a press conference at right around 1225. We'll be covering it. And we know you'll be on top of it. Certainly will be interesting. And back here at home, uh, Senate Republicans preparing to unveil their new draft of the health care bill this morning. We're going to have much more on that in just a moment. But first, let's go to our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, who is on the ground there in Paris with all the latest. Good morning, Cecilia. Hey, Amy, good morning to you. The president expected to take, face very tough questions about Russia in that press conference that, as you said, happens in just a few hours. He is already speaking out on that topic overnight in an interview calling the story about Russia the greatest con job in history. The president and first lady in Paris this morning receiving a ceremonial welcome. But those questions about Russia still linger. President Trump coming to his son's defense in an interview with Reuters, saying he only learned of that Trump Tower meeting between Don Jr. and a Russian lawyer with ties to the Kremlin a couple of days ago. The president saying most of the phony politicians who are Democrats who I watched over the last couple of days, most of those phonies that act holier than thou, if the same thing happened to them, they would have taken that meeting in a heartbeat. And on those questions of his campaign's ties to Russia, the president said there was zero coordination. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. There's no coordination. This was a hoax. This was made up by the Democrats, calling it the greatest con job in history. In retrospect, I probably would have done things a little differently. Emails about that meeting show Don Jr. was told he would receive information that would incriminate Hillary Clinton that material described as part of Russia's attempt to help the president. In those emails, Don Jr.'s response, if that's what you say, I love it. The White House defense? The bottom line is what came out of this 20-minute brief meeting? Nothing helpful, nothing meaningful, nothing consequential. On the Christian Broadcasting Network, the president also talking about his own Russian meeting, that face-to-face -face with Vladimir Putin. Well, he wants what's good for Russia. Yeah. And I want what's good for the United States. I think we got along very well, and I think that's a good thing. The question this morning, how well will he get along with Emmanuel Macron? After their white-knuckle first handshake and the follow-up just last week in Germany, the new French president inviting President Trump to celebrate Bastille Day on the world stage. Short trip for President Trump. He's on the ground for just 28 hours. As for that press conference, both presidents getting two questions each from both the uh, French press corps and the White House press corps. Amy. And speaking of the French visit, Cecilia, we've been showing everyone there is a bit of an uncomfortable relationship between the French president and President Trump, and they're going to be spending a lot of time together. A lot of time, a little bit of business and pleasure mixed together. Of course, that Bastille Day uh, parade tomorrow. They are scheduled to have talks about Syria and counterterrorism. And tonight, both the presidents and their wives having dinner right here at the Eiffel Tower. Amy. All right. We know you'll be there covering it. Thanks so much, Cecilia.